Hello, I'm Jeanette, and I am the Project Junkie. Today, I have a mystery project for you that's just a little fun crochet along with me that I like to take to markets in our area. I sell them for uh, $6 a piece or two for $10. It's just fun. Crochet along with me. Have a little bit of fun today. Thank you. You will need a crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, a key ring with a little chain on it, a stitch marker, some safety eyes, some polyfill, and some scrap yarn, and a little bit of glue that's not pictured. And just so you know, this is a pattern that I made up from someone asking me about these. So the only written pattern is what's on the screen. We're going to start with a magic ring and we're going to put six single crochets into that magic ring. Then we're going to join it together and chain one. For round two, we are going to do an increase in each stitch. And at the end of this, we will have 12 stitches and there are only two rounds for this color. Make sure you leave a tail at the beginning and at the end so you can use it to sew it on the finished project. Okay, when you get to the end, join it and pull that magic ring tight and cut your yarn. And you can just set that one aside for now and grab your main color. And we're going to again start with a magic ring and we're going to do six single crochets into that magic ring. I like to leave my first stitches a little bit uh, looser so that it's easier to pull that magic ring and I don't usually pull the magic ring until the end of round two. So at the end of round one we're going to join one or join it and chain one and round two we're going to do an increase in each stitch. We'll have 12 stitches at the end of this round. And join that together. Pull that magic ring tight. And there is the end of our round two. Round three, we are going to do a single crochet and an increase. A single crochet and increase six times all the way around. We will have 18 stitches when this is over. Don't forget your stitch marker single crochet and increase. 
single crochet and increase. That is the end of round three. Round four, we will do two single crochet and an increase. And we will do that six times all the way around and we will end up with 24 stitches. That's the end of round four. Now round five through nine, we're just going to single crochet in each stitch. So 24 stitches in each round for four rounds. And I'm going to speed this up. When we get to round 10, you're going to do a single crochet, eight decreases, and then eight single crochets for a total of 17 stitches at the end of the round. You can see the little bowl shape beginning to form there. Now we're just going to do one more decrease and we're going to single crochet back to the stitch marker. Okay, round 11, we're going to start with that single crochet. Remember to add your stitch marker. 
and then we're going to do four decreases followed by eight single crochets. At the end of this round, it's getting smaller. There will only be 13 stitches. One decrease, two decreases, three decreases, and four decreases. And now just eight single crochets and one single crochet into each stitch. So you go back to the stitch marker. And round 12 and 13 is just one single crochet in each stitch. That's 13 stitches in each row for the next two rows. Has anybody figured out what we're making yet? Okay, and we're finishing up round 13. We are going to pull up a loop and add the safety eyes. If you just look in the front of that and just kind of place them in the middle. And I use all different kinds of safety eyes and I get my safety eyes from Amazon. And yes, I'm putting these washers on backwards so they stick on a little bit better. And then I add just a little bit of glue between the washer and the yarn. The safety eyes do come out, so they're not really safe for young children. All right, you let that glue dry a little bit, and then we're going to add some stuffing. You don't want it stuffed too much because the bottom will round out and it will not sit straight. So just go, go easy on the stuffing.
but make sure it looks nice. Okay, so we're going to go back to crochet in round 14. We're going to do a single crochet in each stitch, and that's just 13 stitches all the way around. Don't forget your stitch marker. Okay, and round 15 we're going to decrease and then a single crochet. We're going to do this two times and then four single crochets. At the end of this round you will have eight stitches. Add just a little bit more stuffing for the top of the head. And then round 16, you're going to decrease three times. And at the end, you'll have five stitches. Finish off and leave a long tail. I like to close the top, sewing in the front loop only of each stitch all the way around. And then it's time to sew in your key ring. I like to try to straighten this out 
and put it in the center at the top. Sorry about running off the video there. And I like to sew this yarn through this key ring several times so that it does not come out. And if the jump ring splits at the end, that it doesn't come out. And then just feed your yarn through the body and leave the tail out. Then kind of shape it, see what you've got. Now this is the orange circle that we did at the beginning. We're going to grab that and we're going to kind of fold it in half and put our needle through the edge and place it onto our little duck and we're going to sew that edge around the outside. Just secure that down and bring that right through the same hole that you brought the other tail through and pull it tight. Then grab the first tail and put it through the duck bill and make one long stitch across the whole front of the bill and pull it through the same hole in the back and pull them tight. And then I like to tie these in a square knot so that they don't come loose. Pull that tight and trim that off your threads. And then I hide the threads inside the duck body. And there you have it. A finished duck. A duck duck jeep duck. And around here, our jeep team is jeeping for a cure. So I've made some pink ducks for the fight of breast cancer. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.